welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my second video, but I am super excited about it because it is about drawing a realistic green eye with color pencils. Last video was about creating something artistic, uh, a lion using watercolors, but this tutorial is about mastering your color pencils technique. So if you want to draw an eye in color pencils and you don't know where to start, this is the right place. Just grab uh, paper color pencils, any color pencils that you have at your disposal and let's get started. For this video, I use Faber-Castell polychromos pencils because I do think that they are in the best in the market for quality price and you can easily buy a set of 12 for how much? I don't know, 15 pounds and they're really worth it. They last a long time and I think it is an investment, especially if you're a beginner, that you should uh, really commit to. But you don't have to. You can use any materials that you have at home. Anyway, so if you want to draw a realistic eye with me, just keep watching and also if you haven't watched my latest video please uh, check it out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more um, art videos so okay now uh, enough about chat let's get started sorry about the quality of the first few videos uh, but i was drawing at night after a long day of work hopefully uh, you can still see uh, what i'm what i'm doing i promise towards the end the quality uh, gets better uh, so keep watching um so i already did the sketch but it was super light as you can see and even though i recorded it there was no point in in putting it in so uh, you can see the reference photo that i'm using on the top left that i downloaded from uh, Pixabay. And what I do after the sketch is trying to get the color of the iris right. Since I'm using these sets of 12 of Fabric Castell, I didn't have the exact um, aquamarine um, greenish bluish tint that that iris has. So I am building the layers one after the other. And what I'm using is emerald green uh, 163 and then I, I go really lightly and gently and then I um, I build another layer with the light ultramarine 140 um, and then I keep repeating the steps and then I darken um, the I darken up the um, the values as I see in the reference photo using black and and a bit of the wal walnut uh, brown and and I keep doing this. It is really important to leave the highlights um, lighter than the rest, which is um, which you would say is quite you know Sophia. We all know that, but it is really important. And in this case, the highlights are not white, but they have a greenish tint so I actually go in in the first layer and I build up the colors and then um, bef just before going in and darkening the, um, the shadows and the rest I make sure uh, to leave the those areas the highlights that I see in the reference photo uh, bright um, and now as, as you can see I am darkening up um, again the the shadows using dark and then i go back in and use uh and 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 i use the light green and then the ultramarine um again a little um a little trick is to sort of burnish a little bit the layers so you can use either uh, white or ivory in this case i'm using a, a light gray um, still from Faber Castell that I did not buy uh, together with the sets of twelve because it is not included. But I I bought it separately, and that's what great what what it is great of the Faber Castell uh, polychromos pencils is that you can always uh, buy whatever pencil uh, you need separately, and they are still uh, quite cheap. Um, and I would say that probably together with the set of 12, you should get the coral, the light gray and the ivory that you also see um, in the screen on the left because I, I use them a lot. Anyway, so what I was saying is a little trick that I do after layering uh, a couple of, um, of colors in, in the first place, I go back in with either white or gray or even ivory, ivory sometimes to, uh, to blend all those colors together because even if you use um, a really smooth paper it happens that the the color pencils leave a sort of a grainy touch to it and 
um, and it doesn't look really realistic, the, the, the drawing at the end. So you can either use solvent, and I might actually do a tutorial um, where I use it later on, and I honestly love it, but I didn't want to use it here, and I just wanted to use color pencils. So uh, the way to, uh, to achieve a realistic drawing is by um, putting one layer after the other of different colors really lightly, and then every time you keep uh, pressing with your color pencil on the paper a bit more and then between one layer and the other you can go in with uh, a, a mid-tone or a really light tone such as white um, or ivory or in this case gray uh, to sort of blend in all the colors so I think this uh, is probably one of the things that helped me the most um, when trying to achieve a realistic um, eye or even a, a realistic drawing in general using uh, color pencils. So now I am uh, drawing, I'm coloring and shading the, um, the white of the eye, which surprisingly enough is not actually white. And, um, and for this, I am using the, um, the light gray again and the coral. Now, a little trick as well that I suggest is to make sure that you leave the highlights bright and you don't uh, mess up with you know and, and go over um, over them with with other colors is to actually use at the very beginning in the very first layer to use um, the white and press a bit harder in this way you sort of create an indent in the paper and when you shade with a, a color the, the color doesn't actually get into the highlights and it, it maintains uh, basically its its brightness. And I've done it uh, in this case for the bright of the eye, you can see on the bottom of the white of, of the eye on the right and, um, and the left. My other biggest advice is probably keep watching the reference photo. I know it sounds obvious, but sometimes, and I do it sometimes too, I am so focused in drawing and that um, I go by sort of imagination and I, I let my, I, I basically let myself guide, like I, m my hand just goes, just goes with the flow. And it is important giving a bit of your own touch to the drawing, but if you're, uh, if you want to achieve a realistic uh, result at the end, I would suggest keep looking at the reference photo. You can print it out or like I always do, I use my iPad for it. If you don't have an iPad, you can use your phone or uh, your computer. Um, but just make sure to keep uh, watching it. Now, for the rest of the eye, so basically for, for the actual, the skin part around the eye, I am using a, the, the burnt okra, a bit of um, a walnut brown and then coral. And I am really uh, making sure um, that, I, that I put one layer after the other gently at the beginning and then I press a bit harder towards the end and then in between the layers I use um, ivory in this case to, to blend uh, the colors. And again, for this part, for the skin, you can also pay a bit less attention as in, uh, for me, the most satisfying and beautiful part is the iris and the white of the eye because they give the realistic look to the drawing. Um, but of course, the skin around it is equally important, but you don't have to put in as, as much uh, details. Um, as for the rest of the eye. And, uh, and to get the skin smooth, again, make sure that uh, in between the layers you, you use, for example, ivory or white, or um, you just keep pressing a bit harder and harder to remove the grainy look that, for example, the drawing has um, now. Stay. 
Oh, we finally reached almost the end of, of the video and as I promised, the quality uh, did get better. Um, so, I, 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 and it did get better at the most important part, I think. So right now, the eye looks pretty, pretty cool, but it is not done yet. And this is um, one of the most common mistakes that beginners and I do all the time, is that you reach a point and it seems cool and then you stop either because you've lost your patience or because you think that um, it is done or you don't want to mess it up. And I would suggest at least if at least if you haven't seen an improvement in the last couple of drawings, I would suggest really uh, trying to, uh, to take your time with the last steps that actually make uh, a difference. So at this point, I am smoothing the skin even more with ivory and then I'm adding a bit more layers and more more, more um, and darker and darker values i'm also uh, darkening darkening up the um, the part um, just above the the eyebrows I, I, eyelashes sorry eyelashes uh, where she has um, a bit of eyeshadow and and then, and then when when i think that it is dark enough i go uh, in with the um, withdrawing the, the eyelashes. Now, drawing eyelashes, I think, is probably the most difficult part of coloring an eye. Um, I don't, I don't have any specific tips because I think the only way to really improve is keep practicing. Just literally, just keep drawing eyelashes until. Um, you think you achieved a really good result because this is how I did it. But I would suggest that the best way to get accurate eyelashes is making sure that the base of the eyelash, of, of a single eyelash, is um, darker because the bulk of the, the hair is, um, is wider and bigger. And then you press, you keep pressing less and less um, up until you reach the tip of the eyelash and the, the eyelash and that is the only tip I guess that I can give you you have to keep practicing but I would avoid you have also to pay attention to each single one and I would not just kind of trying to to get all of them with a weird motion of your your hand you really have to take your time with every single um eyelashes to to get it right so yeah i think these uh, these two tips are the the only ones that i can give you uh, and keep practicing and you can see uh, now what i uh, what i meant by it i'm really taking my time with each of them and i press harder at the beginning at the base and then i release um, the pressure at the end of the eyelash anyway so i hope you enjoyed uh, this video and um and I will be drawing more uh, realistic human features if it is of interest. Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you, you would like to see um, something using graphite or if you want to, to get to know the anatomy of the eye, for example, that I think it is extremely important to know if you want to achieve a realistic look because the eye is not flat and is is basically a little bow and you have to shape it as if it was 3d so um, let me know if you want videos uh, like those anyway um enough chit chat and i'll see you in the next video bye bye